he'd find out your weak spots and then go uh, go right at them. I, I've, I made the mistake of telling him that, uh, you know, my mother said, you're too young to be putting on this much weight, and he went off on me. And, he, and then next thing you know, that's he hasn't let that go for the last 10, 10 years. Uh, so that's just the Richie uh, way of doing things. He's steady, he's wise, he uh, is impartial, and he is cool under pressure. That's the thing that I've always respected about Rich, is he's thoughtful, he's diligent in what he does, and he always puts the interests of the boys at, at the center of every decision. Mr. Chisholm has not once ever thought of anything but what was best for the student. He's almost devoid of ego. I, you know, and you'll hear this over and over again, but knows everything about, you know, from where their grandmother went to school to, you know, what bus they take in. So it's, it's quite extraordinary. For my son, he, he, um, he loves Mr. Chisholm. Every morning, Mr. Chisholm is out there to greet him. And, you know, that means the world to the boys. Mr. Chisholm is the... CM super fan. He is the largest supporter of the students on campus, whether it's athletics, whether it's speech and debate, whether it's academics, anything. It is, he is the biggest fan. He's the kind of what the best man that the Christian Brothers Network can produce, and I think they recognize that. And it's been wonderful to see how much around the country they know Richie and they love Richie as well. He is the epitome of uh, Brother Edmund Ignatius Rice and what he believed when he saw young men and uh, trying to bring out their full potential. He believes in the value of the handshake. You know, those old school, very simple values. Uh, he's a gentleman. I just, I really, I admire that. He's one of the guys, and, um, and I mean that in a very flattering way. He really is, he's, he's one of the guys. He's very down to earth. Um, you know, he accomplishes things by his relationships. Spiritual leader educator, father figure, whatever each student needs, Richie seems to sense it and provide it. He's fair and he's firm, uh, but there is a lovable side to him too. You know, he's got that, once you get him to start laughing and start smiling, you, you've, you've crossed the boundary and it's great. He's a softy, he's a softy, everybody knows that. <laughs> I have a lot of fond memories of Rich, both in the classroom and outside the classroom. And many of those outside the classroom I can't talk about right now. He is, yeah, he could be a stand-up comedian. He, he could really be a stand-up comedian. A dry stand-up com comedian is what he could be. A little bit of a practical joker. Um, yeah, mm, very quick, very quick with the wit. He has a deadly sense of humor. He's a practical jokester who can div deliver a line that would just take the rug out from under you. I think, um, as, as some people might say, he does have a great sense of humor, but the, the position also calls for somebody to be really serious and to set the tone in the school. And so he's, he's always aware that he is, uh, he's on stage in a sense, and he's always in that role, and I think he, he's played that role really well. You know, but the one thing you can be certain is he's always fair with you, no matter how firm, he's always fair, and I think that's his reputation. I think that's why people love him, you know. He was the one guy that everyone always say, if you're talking to somebody at CM, how's Richie Chisholm doing? Is he still there? He's, he's just the guy that everybody kind of referred to as the face of CM, and I think that's his legacy. You know, there were some, over the years, I'm sure there's a million things he's dealt with, but he always dealt with them in such a classy way, in such a way that really made people feel at ease that he was there taking care of their sons. I run into alums who will tell me the story of how their, the, the dad lost a job or mom lost a job and uh, Richie knew the family lost a job so he bought the kid lunch every day quietly. kid didn't know where it came from but he, the kid had a food to eat and then you'd come find out it was Richie buying this young man lunch every day. He knows the right thing to do and it's, it's, it, it looks instinctive but uh, I know he's put a lot of work into, into developing it and uh, everyone admires him so much and uh, he deserves all the praise that, that he's been, that he will get and has been getting. Wow. His legacy will be 
That's a tough one. Uh, ask me again in a year or two when I can actually imagine this place without him. Because right now that's pretty much impossible. So, I think uh, time will tell what we miss most about Richie Chisholm. But uh, there will be a long list of things we miss.